Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm gonna do um, a top five today. So, you like animated sequels, everybody likes animated movies. So, what's the next logical step when you have a highly successful animated movie? Make a really good and far superior animated sequel. Now, a lot of sequels are really underrated when it comes to animation. A lot of them are hated, and that's what I'm going to focus on. Everybody's done this list, so now I'm going to do one. Adding my own little twist to it. So, today, let's talk about the top five anime sequels I love, but everybody else hates. Now, keep in mind, these aren't some of my favorite all-time sequels to animated movies. These are just some that I find criminally underrated that people just hate on. Now, in order to make this list, it has to be more than just thought of as a mediocre flick. It has to be despised. So, Despicable Me 2 and Toy Story 4 will not make it because the reaction to those are either mediocre or mostly positive. These are just some sequels that people hate on, and I don't think they deserve the hate. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 5. Ice Age Continental Drift. This is the fourth installment in the giant Ice Age franchise. Now, I used to despise the first one because I felt like it was a ripoff of Shrek down to the characters. Um, but it grew on me. I enjoy it now. Um, I honestly don't get the hate for the sequel. Now, this is the highest on the list because, you know, I don't think it's the most underrated. But let's look at the positives. The animation, very beautiful to look at. This is possibly some of Blue Sky's best animation. Also, um, the stakes are pretty high. The villain is memorable. Um, it does have a lot of problems, which is also why it's on the list. Right down to the uh, comparisons, like uh, to something like Finding Nemo, and also some things don't make sense like in this world. Like uh, for the most part, Ice Age has been accurate. You know struggles that are kind of reasonable for this type of time period. Um, how do pirates mix into this? You know, it's kind of goofy and silly, and kind of out of character for the Ice Age series. But overall, I really enjoy this entry. I may review it sometime soon. And do you know who also enjoys this entry? In South End 2001, and I'm sure all you guys enjoy it too. Um, it did great at the box office and became the second highest grossing in the series and I congratulate for that. It became one of the highest grossing anime films of 2012 and it totally deserved it. So anyway, moving on. Also, it gave a great conclusion to the whole franchise and I wish it ended with this one. I really do. It would have ended great. Number 4. Ralph Breaks the Internet now, I wasn't fond of the first film, and uh, when I first saw the trailer, I thought this is going to be a Moji movie all over again, but surprisingly, it offers a stronger story, and anybody that's gone through, you know, losing their friends because their friends are deciding to go on different paths will relate to this movie in many ways. It has a very heartfelt message, and I'm surprised that, you know, um, the, uh, the genuine sincerity it has. This movie doesn't feel soulless. It doesn't feel like a cash grab. It feels like it genuinely wants to teach its audience something. And you feel for Ralph and Vanellope in the paths that they're going on. This is a movie that will resonate with many. It's one of the most underrated Disney movies and Disney sequels. And I totally prefer this one over the first, in my opinion. It's how Fantasmas 1 really loves it, and I can't blame him. I really do love this movie. It touched my heart and I hope it will touch yours. Anyway, moving on. Number three. Shrek Forever After. The final chapter. Now, I love Shrek. It's my favorite movie of all time. This is the most underrated series finale ever. I totally get the hate for the third film, but this one, I do not. I was excited to see this film and it touched my heart in so many ways. A great conclusion to one of the best franchise. No, the best franchise of all time. Better than Star Wars. Better than Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I said it. 
Okay, maybe not better than Lord of the Rings, but better than Harry Potter, for sure. Sorry, Harry Potter fans. The animation is top-notch, and the villain, Rumpel Stiltskin, fantastic final villain. Anyway, moving on. Also, also, this is the best anime movie that Germans made in 2010. Way better than How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, I said it. Number two, Hoodwing 2, Hood vs. Evil. <gasps> Ethan, you put Hoodwing 2 ab above Shrek Forever After? Uh, well, I don't think it's better than Shrek Forever After, but it's more underrated. Shrek Forever After's got a cult following now. Script Phillips Productions and it's half 2001 are part of it. I have an idea for Hoodwing 3, and, uh,